What that towing act will do will create licenses for towing operators uh, and drivers ensuring that drivers at some point will be uh, have to go through a course to ensure that they know proper towing techniques. Ultimately, this will come with a consumer portal for consumers to actually respond to the government when they have infractions against uh, a towing provider. There's also maximum charges that a towing provider will be able to charge. So a, a per kilometer or per call uh, tow rate across Ontario to make it a lot easier and safer for our consumer. I can see this a little more beneficial rather than going through all the municipality uh, rules and regulations because they seem to be changing every year. And if we go with just under one umbrella, that would make it even for everybody. So no matter where you are in Ontario, you'll get consistent service. You'll, the tower will come up to you, will provide um, a quote on the towing charges, which you will sign, and you will give consent for them to tow your car. They will tell you where you're towing your car, because not all times you're going directly to a garage. If you're in an accident, you may be going to a compound until uh, the insurance company decides where the car is going to get repaired. Um, you will know that the vehicle that's stopping will be licensed because they will have their tow number on their vehicle, easily identifiable. So it allows you to, to choose your payment method, be it cash, check, uh, or a credit card, uh, or even e they'll accept uh, e-transfer. You also know the maximum rates that you could be charged during the event. Should give peace of mind to the person waiting for the for the recovery vehicle, uh, knowing that there's going to be a licensed and bonded driver that's going to show up, uh, vetted through the Ontario government, and more importantly, they don't have to accept when they're in an accident or waiting on the side of the road. So when you show up on a on a roadside rescue. Do you tell them where you're coming from? Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> a lot of times uh, I work from an electronic tablet and I have all the information pertaining to the, the, the call that I'm heading to. And if I've noticed they've been in an accident, the first thing I do, I have their phone number. I call them immediately. I tell them who I am. Um, I tell them my ETA, where I'm coming from, and my number on my truck. So therefore they don't get tricked into being picked up by one of these chasers because a lot of times uh, they act as your friend while they're there but as soon as you have them on they have you on their car or on the back of their truck uh, it's off to their compound and then they you got to fight through your insurance company uh, to get your car back okay first of all chasers um they're usually first on scene. A lot of times, most of the times, they're ahead of fire, ahead of ambulance, ahead of police. Talk to the person that's been involved in the accident, trying to obtain their business and get their keys. Because once they have their key, once they have the keys in their, in their hand, uh, it's hard to get them back. And then they turn around, then when the police show up on scene, they'll turn around and say, oh, this lady's uh, okayed me, or this gentleman's okayed me to uh, tow their vehicle. And they're under stress and, and they're in an accident. They don't know what's going on. They think this is all part of it. So they don't understand. But after a couple of weeks when they can't get their car back because there's a, a serious uh, outstanding tow bill and that's when they realize, you know, I've made a mistake. And instead of waiting uh, for the uh, motor to show up with their truck, uh, They've been conned and, and, and coerced to, uh, to go with them. And it can cost them dearly for sure. So recently you arrived on scene and one of our members. Uh, Correct. The Queensway. Correct. Where she needed to be rescued. The dangerous situation, I'm sure she was highly stressed. What happened? Well, she was an elderly lady. I, again, like I say, I called her. I told her I was seven minutes away, and uh, she said, well, there's another gentleman here posing as uh, from, from CAA. And uh, I said, no, that wouldn't, that, that he's, he's not telling the truth. He's not being honest with you. I said, I have your call here. I have all your information. I'm on my way. Don't let him touch your car. Well, he's already picked it up. So I said to him, well, please ask him to set it down and tell him I'm five minutes away. He wouldn't set it down. 
unless we were to pay him. And then he turned around and said to her, you had to, for her to get in the car and because uh, he has to go to the reporting center and or I'll leave you here. And then she was still on the phone and I said, would you like me to contact the police? And she said, absolutely. So that's where I dialed 911. And I went immediately to the reporting center, which is the police station, and followed him right there. She got out of the truck and she came up to me. Um, I told her everything's gonna be okay. I got her, I sat her in my truck and I went and got all her personal belongings. I told the operator of, of the chaser, I said, the police have been uh, dispatched, you know, set down the vehicle. Um, you, had, you didn't have any authorization. Well, she said I could touch it. I said, well, show me the signature where she signed. And he had no signature. So obviously he was in the wrong uh, back and forth. Whereas I had to call 911 one more time. And that's when I was standing beside him saying, look, I have, I have 911 on the phone. You know, they're on their way. And uh, he says, okay, that's it, I'll set it down. So we sat the car down and left. I fight right there uh, for my member to, uh, to make sure they get proper service and proper justice when they're getting towed. But it's the accidents where their car has a 90% chance of being impounded because that's where they make their money. They, they get in there for two weeks, three weeks before they settle with the insurance company. That's another five, $600. Plus they have a tow out fee, administration fee. They just pile it on and, and that's how you get the three, $4,000 tow bills. The police force the tow, which they have a right to do. Can you tell the person that's picking you up, just go to the next exit and drop me off in a parking lot? Absolutely. Now, a lot of times this upsets them and they'll want four or $500 to tow you around the corner. And around in the city of Ottawa, the police have contract towing for accidents. So they should be dispatching that company to clear the road and to leave it wherever the CA member wants it left. So the one thing I would say in response to that, so even if the member does get charged three or $400 to move it off to the side, uh, that money, as long as they've called CA first, is fully re reimbursable to the member. Uh, and more importantly, they would regain control of the vehicle. 